Just you. We were talking out of your contract, huh? Tali. You were talking out of your contract. What did you say? You were, Tali. All right, all right, all right. right. Tali. Right. 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 I told you when you came. What are you saying? Relax. Relax. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? There's no pick. Don't be, don't, 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 don't be, don't be, don't be. Get over it. Get over it. Did you bring your balls? Did you bring your balls, Connor? Did you bring your balls, Connor? Get over it. Did you bring your balls, Connor? Did you bring your balls, Connor? Get over it. Did you bring your balls, Connor? Did you bring your balls, Connor? Did you bring your balls, Connor? All sparring. Remember what I said. When you quit like a bitch, Zach. I can fight it. Relax. I'm a fighter. Relax. Bring your balls Saturday, pussy. Remember what I said in the gym. Remember what I said in the gym. Bring your balls, pussy. Wally, what happened there? Nothing. Yeah, fucking security acting like I'm a fan or something. something. Nah, I was talking to his, uh, his manager. I was, uh, I was telling him. I was trying to actually talk man to man to his manager. I wasn't talking to him. I was trying to be yeah. like, yo, you know that was low. You know that was a low blow. And he was saying, you talked out of your contract. You know how to talk out of my contract, bro. What all, you mean by all, that? all words came out after he put up pictures. Mm -hmm. So when you post up pictures, you send the media to me, you force me to be able to have to defend myself. So. Holy, what was the intention of listening to his conversation with the media? No, I wasn't trying to get him to, I was trying to get his Adi's attention, his, his oh, manager. I wasn't trying I wasn't even trying to get in Connor's way because you know this is a media scrum and um, I'm I'm you know I'm not I'm not involved in the fight, you know what I'm saying? But I was trying to get Adi's attention so so as to say, you know that was low. That was kind of undignified what you guys did, you know, between me and you. I was trying to be man to man with him. And uh, obviously you saw what happened afterwards, you know. So he was trying to say he was that, he was trying to talk it? he was trying to talk about that I talked out of my contract. I don't talk out of my contract. He posted pictures all over social media. The media comes rushes to me. I have to defend myself. You know, the front started out with that picture behind with his hands behind his back. I actually started that. I started the hands behind my back first in the gym. He did it back to me. And so once you post these pictures, you're gonna send the media to me. How are you gonna have an NDA and then constantly put up shit that the media is gonna come talk to me? So don't you can't you can't pretend like I talked out of my contract. So anyway, like just now all I was trying to do is grab his manager, talk, take him aside from the scrum and just talk them man to man. They don't talk man to man, they're a bunch of sissies over there, bro. Oh, I already said it from the start. That's why I reminded him bring his balls. Because in the gym on in that last sparring, he knows what I was telling him. Every round I reminded him how he had no balls. Because as the shit gets tougher, he shows he has no balls. Every time he gets deeper and deeper, you saw what he did in the ADS fight. Who jumps in and takes the fight to the ground against a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? When you know your only chance to win is to stand up. Who takes the fight to the ground knowing you're gonna get taken out if you take the fight to the ground? You gotta stand up. But you might get punished for three more rounds, and you might not land that big shot. But you may land that big shot if you keep it standing up, but you may get punished. The punishment is the risk you have to take to win. Or you take the easy way out, like when, like somebody with no balls would do. You take the fight to the ground, and you get choked out just like that. He has no balls. He showed it to me in the gym again in that 12-round session. He goes into his little folding patterns. He's going to fold again on Saturday. There's he has no balls. Holy really like session, right? he, if they really there's video, but here's what you have to keep in mind. The way they edited that first one, you have to keep in mind they have different cameras. It's got to be one camera. It's got to be one camera. Don't switch angles. It's got to be one camera so that you know this round is not being mixed in with this round. One camera. I'm, not, I'm asking him to do no work. I'm asking him to do no work. Do 12 rounds, one camera angle, don't switch it. Do no work. Just put out the video. One camera. That's it. If you start seeing, yeah, if you start seeing different camera angles, you already know they're fucking with you. You know, because this is not a TV fight where the round number is on, is on the bottom of the screen so you can follow. If you start changing angles, you might have switched around and you don't even know it. You know what I mean? One camera angle, 12 rounds. You can see it. Thank you guys. Why you came? You know, we, we, we what are you looking directly to him? No, I was talking to his manager. I was trying to talk to his manager. I was trying to tell him that wasn't right. What well, you guys did it wasn't right. But you know, then they all jump in. You know, I was trying to get his manager to take him aside. I was trying to take the manager to take him aside. You know, talk man to man. You know, I was trying to be like, hey, come here. You know, and then of course you saw what happened. Holly, just one final question. Holly, I saw a push. 
No, that was security. Okay, okay. Security, okay. Made, you know, they, you know, the security likes to overdo their job. Yeah. Why'd you say he had no balls? He has no balls. He knows what I'm talking about. I, we, we had a we, we had a private conversation between ourselves while we were sparring. He knows what I was talking about. I, I felt like I had to remind him before Saturday. I, I felt like I had to remind him. Make sure he brought his balls for this week because he tends to forget his balls for his big fights. Did he push I mentioned. It? Did he push no, security it? grabbed me from behind. Paulie, but for sure you want to get some answers to him. What did he say to you? What did he say to you when he was looking at you? Um, he, I wasn't sure what he was saying. I was trying to get Adi's attention because I was trying to talk to Adi. Adi was saying, you talked out of your contract. I said, no, you know, I didn't talk out of my contract. You guys posted pictures. You forced me to defend myself. I didn't talk anything until like, you guys posted pictures. Pictures were what started all the talking. So nobody talked out of the contract. You guys posted pictures first. If there was no pictures ever posted, I wouldn't need it to talk. Right. I don't need to go find reporters to talk to. I don't need to talk to the media. And what did Connor say to you, though? You had some words. Oh, uh, I don't know what Connor said because I was trying to talk to Adi. Connor okay. was probably saying, you got your ass. I don't know, simple, simple shit. You got your ass. So, oh, that's what. And then I reminded him, there's you bring your balls this week because usually you forgot them against Diaz. You tend to forget them when shit gets tough. Make sure he brought his balls Saturday. He's gonna need them Saturday. Make sure he doesn't forget them in Ireland or or in the, in the training camp house. He's gotta bring them Saturday. You don't want you gotta pack your gloves. You gotta pack your shoes. You gotta pack your cup. You gotta pack your balls too because he tends to forget those. Oh, did you sorry, Nothing. I was, I was trying to grab Adi, his manager. I was trying to take him aside so he could speak privately. And I wanted to tell him, I was basically trying to tell him I was low. That wasn't unnecessary. You know, I didn't want to get in Connor's way. He's got the media scrum. It's his week. It's their fighting. I didn't want to get in the way. But I was trying to grab Adi, bring him aside, and say, and basically I was telling him, that was, a, you know, what you guys did was unnecessary. I said, you know, that was unfair. You know, that was low. And he basically defended him, saying, no, no, you talked out of your contract. You're talking, I didn't talk out of my contract. You guys posted pictures. I wasn't talking before the pictures got posted. You guys posted pictures, and then you forced the media to rush to me, and then I had to defend myself. Holy no, nobody talked to the media before the, con before the pictures got posted. People are talking more about your sparring session than yeah. about the fight. I know. Isn't this ridiculous? <laughs> it's the most ridiculous. And I've had so many tougher sparring sessions. Like, this is the most ridiculously overrated sparring <laughs> session I've ever seen. So, yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 <laugh